Hey everyone, in this video, I will be sketching a street scene using the Concepts app, more specifically using the Fill tool that's in Concepts. So this is the type of look that I'm going for. It's a very stylized look. Concepts is actually a vector illustration app so it has infinite canvas and all these lines that you see these are actually mathematical formulas so you can actually zoom in all the way and you can still see the lines they are very sharp all right let's start with a blank canvas i will be using google street map to draw First thing I want to do is to show the grid and I also want to change the paper color to something that is darker so that when I draw white over the paper I can see the white. One nice thing about concepts is you can save several tools with their own colors so I have this view tool here that is gray. Let me start by drawing a building first as much as possible, I'm going to try and avoid drawing with line. Let me switch to a different color, maybe a blue for the windows. There is some perspective going on. Oops. So with the view tool, you have to draw one continuous shape. Otherwise, you have to draw several shapes to join the ships together so this is the window and doing corrections with the field too it's kind of difficult um, i can maybe do a hard mask here oops um, maybe make the brush smaller all right i think it looks okay and next up i want to maybe make this front side here a bit lighter so I'm going to use white I'm going to set the transparency to maybe 50% okay and next up I will draw some trees in front so I will pick this view too which I'm going to change it to green maybe this green and draw the shape of the tree if the color doesn't look nice I can change it later on let me just use the item picker to pick this tree and change the color to maybe something a bit brighter does it work? nope maybe something a bit more Okay, I think this works. Next, I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to put this layer behind the leaves and use that layer to draw the tree trunks. I can have some tree trunks in front as well, but um, I would need to create another layer just to overlay onto the leaves. So maybe let me keep this simple right now and um, leave it as it is. So let me draw another tree on the side. There's another big tree here. So with concepts, you're going to get a very stylized look. There are some pretty nice textured brushes as well. But for today's sketch, let me just focus on um, having the lines sharp. So let me just draw some parts here. So this is how you draw with the fill tool. You basically just draw the shape and the color will fill into the shape that you draw. Okay, we have some nice contrast at the bottom. Let me draw on the other building. Right, I want to add another building here and I realized that there is actually a street between this building and this building here so this tree is actually in the way. So what I'm going to do is to lock the 
layer with the buildings and use this selection tool this lasso selection tool and move this to the left side like this okay and let me just click away and now I can draw the other building here which is going to be in red so let me choose a nice red this looks nice there's this perspective um, vanishing point that's right here so as I draw the building I need to make sure that this diagonal line it goes down to the vanishing point and there is another building on the right side which is kind of big and it's in white so let me choose um, white and see what color I can get okay this is nice so I'm just going to draw the main shape for this building here which is actually a shopping center and let me make this darker okay um, I think it looks all right have another gray building so all the colors that you see here these are actually the Copic coloring um, system the colors are from the Copic coloring system oops let me just draw one building here maybe make it a bit darker yep and I can have a gray building here maybe a shorter one here okay there is a tall building behind which is in blue so let me choose a blue or some color that is very different compared to this building here okay another building behind which is um, white with a yellow top so this is white and this is the yellow top and I'm going to draw the windows here using the line oops too thick so this building um, it's actually very far back in the background so these horizontal lines that you see they represent the tiny windows in the very far background okay I can also use the line to draw windows here I need to make sure the perspective is right so the version point is somewhere here let me just draw the windows to the finishing point okay so now I have a few buildings let me continue to draw the trees let me go to the layer with the tree I feel like I should make the tree much uh, the trees much darker so yep I like this color and there are some trees here on the rooftop garden here as well it seems change a different color some trees in front of the shopping mall and some trees here and let's add some tree trunks so for the tree trunks let's go with something darker so the tree trunks will have to be behind the uh, trees I can also add some weird shapes some will be thin some branches some irregular shapes so the grid that is behind is actually helping me draw the horizontal lines ok 
Okay, I can add another tree. This time I'm going to use like a yellow um, tree. This one perhaps. So you can see this tree, it's, it looks very different compared to the trees behind. And this tree, it has very stylized leaves. And for the tree trunk here, I'm going to use the fill shape again. Let's have a darker, sorry, a warmer brown. Okay. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Um, perhaps I need to make the leaves here darker. Let me use the item picker again. Make this tree, make the leaves much darker. Yep, I think this looks nice. Oops, I have to make sure that I pick the right thing. Okay. Right. So this is what I have so far. Um, let me add the streets. So for the street, I'm going to create a new layer right at the bottom and drag that layer to the bottom. And the street will be gray. Let's have cool gray. Okay. If I want to add some cars, um, I will have to create another layer and draw the cars above. So here I think, yeah, sure. Maybe I should draw a car or two. So let me just create a new layer and draw maybe a red car. Just zoom in all the way. Oh, actually I don't have to, um, I don't have to leave the shape for the wheel. I can just draw the wheel like this. Okay, so this is a very, very stylized car. I think in real life, this car, it doesn't, uh, I mean, it's going to look better than this. So this is a very stylized sketch. Okay, maybe let's add some clouds, perhaps, in the background. Let's create a new layer and push it all the way to the back behind the building and change um, color. Let's use a blue for the sky. As for which blue, well, it's a bit difficult to see or select because there are so many blues. Does this look nice? Um, yep, I think it looks not bad. It looks quite nice. So let me just draw this shape and draw some clouds. I can perhaps use a different brush to create the clouds. So let me just use one of the new sponge brushes to create the clouds. Yep. So the clouds look like this. Yeah. And now I'm going to add some details to this white block here. I'm going to create a new layer above the building and choose a pen with a warm uh, color and then draw the texture, the pattern on the building. So we'll see how it looks. Okay, done. And for the bottom of the building, let's add some darker shape. Let's see what we have so far. I want to add some uh, shadows to the trees here. This is what I have so far. 
I feel like I should add something that overlaps the building. So I'm going to draw maybe a stop sign here. Oops. Just here, choose red and choose white again. And maybe have black here. Right, so we have a stop sign that overlaps everything. Okay, so this is the sketch. Mm. With concepts, um, there is no way for you to add like uh, gradation. So actually, I wanted to make the clouds gradate. Uh, maybe I should just delete the clouds here and try again. So I'm going to use the sponge two again. This time, choose a blue. And change the transparency down okay so now I have this oops I need to create a new layer for the clouds okay okay so now I have the sky with some texture I can change the color for the sky to make it darker change the transparency change the color again to something darker so this is how I would create some gradation change the transparency again and create another layer so I'm using a lot of layers and this time I want to change the color to white for the clouds make it a bit transparent as well oops more transparency why is this not transparent all right now it's transparent all right so this is the sketch let me turn off the layer so you can see properly um, yeah it's chopped off here so for this particular sketch if I want to continue actually I should continue so that it doesn't look like it's chopped off here on the left and also on the right side so this is the completed sketch I extended the background I extended the boundary I added more clouds more buildings on the side and added more gray to the road so that when I zoom in like this it looks good and the sketch doesn't look like it's chopped off on the sides I can add more details um, obviously but I think I shall just leave it as it is so this is just another way to draw using concepts using the fill tool and this is actually uh, really fast uh, for sketching because you don't have to draw the line art when you draw the shape it's already colored and you don't have to draw so many lines so it really saves a lot of time and you can complete a sketch like this very quickly the look is going to be very stylized very digital of course because this is a digital app um, you can explore some of the textured brushes that concepts have to offer perhaps that will add more uh, texture to your art or if you like you can actually just go with the very stylized look like this okay um, i hope this video is helpful for people who use concepts thanks for watching see you guys in the next video bye